Section 10.2, area under a parametric curve. Remember back in Calc 1 when we wanted to find the area under a curve, y equals p of x, given in Cartesian coordinates, we just took the integral from some starting x value to some ending x value of p of x dx. If instead our curve is given by the parametric equations x equals f of t, y equals g of t, then the area under the curve, in between the curve and the x-axis, is still given by the integral of y dx, but now I can rewrite y as g of t, and dx is just f prime of t dt. Since I'm integrating with respect to t now, my bounds of integration need to be t values. And this is a formula for the integral for the area under a curve given by parametric equations. Let's use that formula to find the area under one arch of the cycloid given by these two equations. Here, r is a constant and theta is our parameter standing in for the variable that we usually call t. If we want to get just one arch of the cycloid, then we want to start when theta equals zero. Plugging in theta equals zero gives us the xy coordinate zero, zero. And we want to keep going until theta equals two pi. Plugging in two pi here gives us an x value of two pi r and a y value of zero. We want to integrate y dx. We know our y is given by r times one minus cosine theta. And our dx is given by the derivative of this times d theta. So that's r times one minus cosine theta d theta. Therefore, our area is the integral from zero to two pi of y times dx. We can distribute, pull out our r squared, and then distribute the one minus cosine theta times one minus cosine theta to get one minus two cosine theta plus cosine squared theta d theta. These two terms are easy to integrate, and to integrate cosine squared, we can use the familiar trick of rewriting cosine squared theta as one half plus one half cosine two theta. Now we can integrate all four terms and get r squared times theta minus two sine theta plus one half theta plus one fourth sine two theta, evaluated between two pi and zero. When we plug in two pi, both sine terms drop out and we just get r squared times two pi plus one half times two pi. And when we plug in zero, all four terms drop out. So our final answer is r squared times three pi. And that's all for the example on area under parametric curves.